Democrats agree, conservative Republican Steve Garvey is the wrong choice for the Senate. Our Republican opponent here on this stage uh, has voted for Donald Trump twice. Mr. Garvey, you voted for him twice. As you wrote me, and what is your decision? It turns out Democrats aren't the only ones altering news headlines to try and score points with voters. The campaigns of several Republican elected officials and a former GOP lawmaker have previously manipulated news headlines and article descriptions in Google search ads to target voters. It first surfaced some Democrats, including Representatives Alyssa Slotkin and Adam Schiff, engaged in the tactic. In those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign has taken advantage of the scheme on an even greater level, which involves promoting real news links on Google searches, but changing the headline and description previews to appear more favorable. But day one really for Kamala was three and a half years ago. Where has she been? It's something former President Donald Trump has taken note of, questioning the legality of the practice. It is truly an honor to represent you in the Senate, and I want you to know I'm going to continue to work hard on the issues Tennesseans care about, securing that border, making certain we address inflation, making certain we hold big tech accountable. A review of Google's Ad Transparency Center shows the campaigns of Senators Marsha Blackburn, Mike Braun, and Jim Banks, along with Governor Brian Kemp and former Illinois Representative Rodney Davis, all use the ploy against political rivals. This involves promoting media stories while crafting their own display headlines and some text to either bolster themselves or tarnish their opponents. The practice is allowed by Google and used across the political spectrum. However, critics say the scheme is deceptive to voters seeking more information about candidates or issues. Facebook banned the ability in 2017 to advertisers to alter news headlines. WDAY TV and radio president and managing partner Steve Hallstrom told the Washington Examiner they're seeking legal counsel and weighing potential action against the Harris campaign and Google. 